there's actually lots of rail passes. Um, you can get like the Japan rail pass. There's cards like the Suica card and the Cosmo card. You actually don't need to use those. You can get a single ticket for each ride. The Pasmo and the Suica cards are also often not available because of shortages due to microchips. So I'm actually going to ride the Tokyo Metro today and I'm going to do it without any of those cards. I'm just going to buy a single journey ticket. You need cash when you buy it from these machines for a single ticket, so uh, no, no credit card. This is how you buy a single journey ticket on the Tokyo Metro. The one thing is if you are going to transfer, that is when the cards are better because I'm going to have to buy a new ticket uh, when I get off because I'm transferring. So I'm going to Shibuya, but then I'm going further than that. So I'm actually going to have to buy another ticket at that station, which is a bit of a hassle, obviously. It's not really that difficult. Once you get used to it, it's pretty overwhelming until you get used to it. So there's change and there's my ticket. Here's where I find it the most kind of confusing. And the best idea I found is to make sure you know which track you're going to. So search that on Google Maps ahead of time, your route, because there's just so many lines. So I'm going to track number 10. This ticket goes in the machine and make sure you get it back out. Because uh, when you leave the station, you're gonna have to put it back into the machine. They do do a lot of announcements as to what the next train is, but you really have to pay attention, obviously. There is, there is English uh, on the announcements, uh, but I find it does vary based upon station and, and train, so you really got to kind of know what um, track you're, you're at, I find, is, is the most important. Shibuya station and I got to transfer onto another line for one more stop. So that would be of course when the, the sweep or the Passmo card would, would save you a little bit of time because I have to buy a new ticket here but uh, it, it more I think depends how long you're going to be here. If you're here for long term obviously you're going to get a card. If you're just here for a a short while, a few days or less than a week or something. I'm, I'm not sure the, the card's really gonna save you all that much time. I don't know really what line you're going to and what, what track number. Those two things are both really important. I do find the sometimes the track number will, will help you get there and sometimes the, the line number. Just 
I know it's a video game. There's probably the most important tip I could give is put your destinations, the two stations you're going to, into Google Maps. It tells you all sorts of different things that you need to know. Uh, platforms, whether it's express or local, the color of the line is really a super uh, helpful tool. Also shows you exactly when the train is leaving and they're almost always on time. It also shows you when the next trains are coming in case you happen to miss that one. Another thing it shows you is how many stops to your destination and it will usually show you as well the price in yen. The screenshot doesn't show the price but it does generally show that. Knowing whether you're going or can go express or local also it's, it's something you should do. Try and figure out if, if you can. If it's a, a station like a popular station, going there express is, is probably going to be your best idea. So the, the train will say whether it's express or local. If you're going to a smaller station, you may have to take the, the local, which obviously takes longer. Uh, I took one the other day and it was 21 stops when the express would have only been about five stops. Um, but uh, that's what happens when you're trying to navigate to this and you're not a, a pro yet. I made it. It's a rainy day in Tokyo.